This portion of the news brought to you by AOL's local guide, digitalcity.com. Now, weather with WB11's Joe Chaffee. Folks, no question, we've got a major storm that's going to impact us. We just have to work out the details. I've absorbed a little bit more of the newer computer models, and we still have a lot more to look at over the next several hours. But based on what we're looking at right now, and on the possibility, possibility that some warm air could intrude in coastal locations, which might hold down total snow amounts in those areas, we're thinking uh, six inches, perhaps in total, for the eastern end of Long Island. Work your way westward in a band of 6 to 12 here that runs down into coastal New Jersey. But for Nassau County, the city, all of the northern suburbs in this one foot plus area, and I want to emphasize if this, this idea of warm air is not real, then we can shift all of this back to the coastline and everybody gets buried. But it's pretty safe to say that there will be blizzard-like conditions from this over parts of the tri-state area certainly including the city, maybe a little bit less so along the immediate coast. And, and all of this having to do with track and a, a little bit of a, a, of a warm pocket in the ocean as the storm intensifies. But very impressive here on the satellite. A lot of moisture is shooting up the eastern seaboard. Right now, we're just seeing some residual cloud cover. There's a little bit of an Arctic boundary that's been sitting over us all day. It's produced some light snows, and you can see them on the radar in the Boston area and up in uh, northern Rhode Island. And also, if you look here on the temperature profile in the northeast, it's in the low 60s in central West Virginia at Charleston. Work your way up. We're in the 30s, then 20s, teens, single digits, and even below zero in northern Maine. That bitter cold air is so close that some of it is seeping southward, and this is part of the battleground problem that's shaping up. Look at the area temperatures, West Hampton, Islip, it's actually colder as you go northeast, 34, Bridgeport 34, White Plains at 34, didn't make it out in the 30s at Bridgeport today, 37 at LaGuardia, still a leftover 40 degree reading at Newark, so it's a little bit warmer as you head south and west. The Greenland block, the cause of all of this, folks, we've been talking about this on and off throughout the winter, with this big high in Greenland, what it does is essentially forces the polar jet way to the south. And in this particular instance, we have a strong southern stream system. That energy is piled onto the eastern seaboard. This is how we get really big, intense storms here. You don't see this very often, every four or five years maybe. And sometimes if it really gets powerful, it can hook together up a major system, something like what we're dealing with here. Uh, satellite radar profile, a lot of Gulf moisture. Storm center right now moving across eastern Louisiana, headed through Mississippi. It's going to take a track just to our south, out in the ocean, and we'll see how it goes. But we'll be here tomorrow to keep you abreast as the situation develops. Okay, folks, for tonight, as you're headed out, some clouds. Breezy and a little colder. By morning, we should be down to 28 to 33. Tomorrow, Cloudy skies thicken. A mix of rain and snow late in the day, 35 to 40. Heavy snow tomorrow night. And on the extended forecast, stormy conditions uh, that will be around into Tuesday before weather conditions improve. And the nice thing about March is when storms are over, it tends to warm up a little bit. Let's hope so. Not a so. lot, but yeah. a little bit. Let's hope it's so. It's nice what? to see a little warm weather. In the meantime, batten well, down the Stay tuned hatch. on this tomorrow because there's still a lot more to go. All right, Joe, thanks a lot. Turning now to Sean Kimmerling. And it'd be nice to be in Florida right now. I could do without this.